peace in the evening and promise of the Kiyam. O Lord, you shall open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Kiri et nat kiri mu anixis ke to stoma mane ke miti ne nesim. O Lord, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory and the one who has sought my head. I cry to the Lord with my voice and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and I slept, I awoke, the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God, for you struck all those who were foolishly at enmity with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessings upon your people. I lay down and I slept, I awoke, the Lord will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chastise me in your anger. For your arrows are fixed in me, your hand rests on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my transgressions rise and go through my head. Like a heavy burden, they are heavy on me. My wounds will foul and press me because of my folly. I suffer misery and am utterly bowed down. I go all day long with a sad face. For my loins are filled with mockeries, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the groaning of my heart, O Lord. All my desires before you, and my groaning is not hidden from me. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me. In the light of my eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me. And my near kin stand far off. And those who seek my soul use violence. And those who seek evil towards me speak folly. And they meditate on deceit all the day long. For I am like a deaf man who do not hear. I am like a man who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear. And has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O oh Lord, I hope. You will hear, O oh Lord, my God. For I said, let my enemies rejoice over me. For my, when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready with the moon. And my pain is continually with me. For I will declare my transgressions, and I will be anxious about my sins. My enemies live, and they have become stronger than I. And those who hate the unjustly are multiplied. Those who repay me evil for good and slander me, because they pursue righteousness. And they threw away my love as though it were a sinking corpse. Do not forsake me, O oh Lord, my, my God. Do not depart from me. Give peace to help me, O oh my Lord, my salvation. Do not forsake me, O oh Lord, O oh my God. Do not depart from me. Give peace to help me, O oh Lord, my salvation. O oh God, my God, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh thirsts for you in a desolate, impassable, and wireless land. So in the holy place, I give before you to see your power and glory. Because your mercy is greater than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled with acid, narrow, and fatness, and my mouth shall sing praise to you, with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remember you on my bed, I, I meditate on you on daybreak, for you are my helper. In the sun of your wings, I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows God behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. But they seek my soul in vain. They shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall be glad in God. All who serve by him shall be praised. For the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. I will meditate on your day break. For you are my helper, and the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you, your right hand takes hold of me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, we give glory to your God. Alleluia, alleluia, we give glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Lord, your mercy, Lord, your mercy, Lord, your mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. But thou never in the days of days. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. For my soul is filled with sorrows, and my soul draws near to Hades. I am counted among those who go down into the pit. I am like a helpless man, free among the dead, like slave men thrown down and sleep in the grave, whom you remember no more, but they are removed from your hand. They lay in the lowest part in dark places and in shadow of death. Your wrath rested upon me, and you brought all your guilt over me. You removed my acquaintances far from me and made me an abomination among themselves. I was betrayed and did not go forth. My eyes weakened from poverty, O Lord. I cried to you the whole day long, I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Or will physicians raise them up to acknowledge? 
Shall everyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth in destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in a forgotten land? But I cry to you, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer shall come near to you. Why, O Lord, do you reject my soul and turn away your face from me? I am poor and in troubles from you. But having been exalted, I was humbled and brought into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me, and your terrors greatly troubled me. They compassed me like water all the day long, and they surrounded me at once. You removed far from me neighbor and friend, and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you and incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. Bless the Lord of my soul, and everything within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul, and forget not all the rewards, who is merciful to all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercy and judgment to all who are wrong. He made known his ways to Moses, the things he wills to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, and reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As the Father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how he formed us. He remembers we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, and the flower of the field is way flourishes. For the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain. It shall no longer know place. For the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him, and his righteousness upon children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and remember his commandment to do them. The Lord prepared his home throne from heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty and strength, who do his word, so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all that you his host, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer. Give me my supplication in your truth. Answer me in your righteousness. Not in the judgment of the servant. For no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For then he persecuted my soul. He humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to be held in dark places and swam on dead. And my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remember the days of old and I meditated of all the works. They made the works of your kids. I spread out my kids to you. My soul thirsts for you like a wild stand. Hear me, speak to you, Lord. My spirit faints with me. Turn your face, turn up your face for me. Lest I become like those who are not in the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way where I should go. For I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for the you need for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness, you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy, you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all the conflict of my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for thou never and to the age of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Our hope, O oh Lord, glory to Let us pray to the Lord. Lord.
aprópos. Que tu eludes com a iúbna de matos, nem que aí, que isto se oras, tu ne Father Lord, for by thanks be fire, you will be complete. 
especially the truth, for ye good spirits shall guide me in the land of a pride. Oh, 
On this day, we also commemorate the holy martyr Antonia. On this day, we commemorate the holy John, the soldier, and our devout fathers Zeno and the Hymios, the bishop, and our devout father Julian in the Gatos. On this day, the eighth Sunday from Pascha, we celebrate Holy Pentecost. By the intercessions of the holy apostles of Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen.
seres dorma assim, seres de dado assim, que seguias de minha voz. Praise him with temporal and dance, praise him with strings and a flow. The Holy Spirit forever was and is and will be. Oh, my God. 
God 
Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. <clears throat> Heavenly King, comforter, the spirit of truth, who are present everywhere and feeling all things, the treasure of blessings and source of life, come abide in us, cleanse of all stain, and save our souls, O good one. Heavenly King Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present everywhere and feeling all things, the treasure of blessings and source of life, come abide in us, cleanse us of all stain, and save our souls, O good one. Heavenly King Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are present everywhere and feeling all things, the treasure of blessings and source of life, Come, abide in us, cleanse the whole stain, and save our souls, O good one. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth, men to enjoy his favor. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth, men to enjoy his favor. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will speak out your praise. Save the suffering, the captive, 
Out of his heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now this he said about the Spirit, which those who believed in him were to receive, for as yet the Spirit has not been given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. When they heard these words, some of the people said, This is really the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But some said, Is the Christ to come from Galilee? Has not the scripture said that the Christ is descended from David and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David was? So there was a division among the people over him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. The officers then went back to the chief priests and Pharisees, who said to them, Why do you not bring him? The officers answered, No man ever spoke like this man. The Pharisees answered them, Are you led astray, you also? Have any of the authorities or of the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, who do not know the law, are accursed. Nicodemus, who had gone to him before, and who was one of them, said to them, Does our Lord judge a man without first giving him a hearing and learning what he does? They replied, Are you from Galilee too? Search, and you will see that no prophet is to rise from Galilee. Again Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of love. Stand again. 
against this working together. What do you think that is the biggest obstacle against this harmony, synchronicity, working together in a group of dancers, in a choir, in a family, in a church, in any organization? What is the biggest obstacle against this working together? Ego. Right on. That's the biggest obstacle. In the days Contagio, in the days, one of the most important hymns of the day says that when the most high God came down and confused the tongues, he divided the nations. When he distributed the tongues of fire, he called all to unity with, and with one voice he glorified the all Holy Spirit. This hymn speaks about two biblical events. What do you think is the first biblical event that this king speaks about? Once again, when the Most High God came down and confused the tongues, he divided the nations. Tower of Babel. What, what did people want to do in that story of the Tower of Babel? What did they want to do? Build the tower. Why? To reach God. To reach to God. Exactly. Then, you know, it's very interesting. It's very interesting because, you know, the official, the official reason was to reach out to God. But then the Bible also says that they wanted to make a name for themselves. They wanted to reach out to God on their own strength and to make a name for themselves. What did it happen? Did it work? No. God came down and confused the tongues. <laughs> they couldn't understand each other anymore. Because they were very proud. They had a big ego and the spirit of God, which is the spirit of community and unity and of working together because it's the spirit of the Trinity. The spirit of God was not with them. Their spirit was against the spirit of God. And that's why things didn't work out. And that event is contrasted to another major biblical event, which we are celebrating today, which was that one. What do we celebrate today? Pentecost. The descent of the Holy Spirit upon the disciples in Jerusalem. And what happened? According to the book of Acts, what happened when the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples on the day of Pentecost? What happened to them and to the people in Jerusalem? Yes, tongues of fire came upon them, but you know what was it to the Tower of Babel, what happened on the day of Pentecost? They all understood each other. The apostles were preaching and people were gathered together in Jerusalem for the, for the Feast of Pentecost of all nations and they understood the apostles. They understood the preaching of the apostles. That's what happens when the Holy Spirit of God upon people. Things are working together in amazing ways. Things that are not supposed to work together, work together. And you know this reminds me of a situation that I did not believe in. When uh, we are getting ready for Sophia's baptism, my in-laws came from Romania, and uh, the day we, we baptized her on Sunday, so uh, after Vespers on Saturday evening, we went home and we brought my in-laws to the church, you know, to help us prepare the meal for the following day. So, Christopher and I went in the church, and in that church, the, the uh, social hallway was in the, base, in the basement of the church. So anyway, Christopher and I went upstairs, yeah, it was only my father, not my mother, only my father. 
He went down, downstairs, and my father, you know, God bless, is a very good potato eater. And, uh, and uh, we asked him to peel some potatoes for the following day. And we went upstairs to get everything ready in the church. After about you know, 15, 20 minutes, we came downstairs, and we found my father-in-law sitting down as we left him and peeling potatoes. And next to him, there was another man, a Canadian man, Otto, who had the key of the church. He came to the church, he went to the basement, he found my father-in-law, he knew, he knew who he was, but my father-in-law doesn't speak any English, and Otto doesn't speak any Romanian. But he knew that, oh, this is, you know, the father-in-law of our priest. So, he saw my father-in-law peeling potatoes, he grabbed the knife himself, and he started peeling potatoes with my father-in-law. When we came downstairs, we found both of them peeling potatoes and talking to each other. They're talking. They're having a conversation. And none of them was speaking the other one's language. But they wanted to be together. They wanted to communicate with each other. They wanted to make it work. Otto came and he saw my father in the potatoes. And out of love, he said, we will help you. And then they started talking and the potatoes. I could not believe it. And then my father wrote, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Things that are not supposed to work, work. People understand each other without knowing each other's language because it's beyond language. It's about love. And God is beyond language. But this spirit of unity, this spirit of togetherness came upon the disciples on the day of Pentecost when, according to the book of Acts, they were all gathered together with one accord in one place. It is the spirit of unity. When we try to be together, when in our spirit we want to work together and we leave our ego aside and we want to work with each other, that's when our spirit is attuned with the spirit of the Holy Trinity, and the Holy Trinity comes within us and works with us. That's when miracles happen. That's when dancers do a beautiful dance. That's when people have beautiful singing. That's when families are in harmony. That's when churches are like the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit.
for souls and for peace in the world. Let us ask the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord. Grant us, O Lord. For a Christian and for life, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the us and judgment. Let us ask the Lord, Grant us, O Lord. Remember for your most holy, pure, blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ.
προσπαθούμε να μάθουμε στην εικόνα και στο ίδιο του μέλλον του αιώνα. Αμήν. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and the whole thing is visible and invisible. And in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, to whom all things are made. Who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us on the Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. But he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory. Judge the living and the dead, the seeking that shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son, who is worshipped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets. In one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection.
unborn healthy for many years. Why be teaching the word of your truth? Remember also Lord, those which you last for to mine and all your Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory 
of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Hear me, Pasi. Peace be with you all.
Thanks, so 
and be mindful that we, are, that we are lowly and deserving of judgment. Recall our souls from the bondage of sin, in your own compassion interceding for us. Accept us as we kneel before you crying the familiar, I have sinned. We have been dependent on you from our, from our mother's womb. You are our God, but because our days have been vainly squandered, we are stripped of your help without any defense. Even so, encouraged by your mercies, we cry, remember not our sins committed in youth and ignorance, and purge our secret thoughts. Do not spurn us in old age when our strength fails us. Do not forsake us. Before we are returned to the earth, make us worthy to return to you and treat us with your favor and grace. Measure out your mercies against our transgressions. Contrast the depths of your pity to the multitude of our offenses. From your holy dwelling place, look down upon the people present here in expectation of your rich mercy. Visit us in your goodness. Free us from the oppression of the evil one. Make our lives secure within your holy and sacred laws. Entrust your people to a faithful guardian angel. Gather us all in your kingdom. Grant forgiveness to those who hope in you. Remove them and us our sins. Cleanse us through the work of your Holy Spirit. Put them in the wiles of the enemy. Again and again, on bended knees, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, you have bestowed your peace on humankind and the gift of the Holy Spirit to be with us even in this life as a perpetual inheritance to believers never to, to be taken away. On this day, you have sent this grace upon your disciples and apostles in a way more manifest giving utterance to their lips by means of fiery tongues, so that every human race, hearing in our own language, receive the knowledge of God, and illumined by the light of the Spirit, emerge from error as from darkness, and in the distribution of visible tongues of fire, and by extraordinary power, were taught faith in you, and were enlightened to speak of you as of the Father and the Holy, and the Holy Spirit, as one God and one power, one sovereignty. As the reflection of the Father, the perfect and immutable likeness of His essence and nature, the source of salvation and grace, open the lips of this sinner and teach me how and for what I should pray. For you know the great number of my sins, yet your compassion will overcome their enormity. For in fear I stand before you, casting my soul's despair into the sea of your mercy. Govern my life as you govern all creation by the unspoken word and the power of wisdom. Calm heaven of the storm toss and make known to me the way in which I should walk. Grant me the spirit of wisdom in my thoughts, the spirit of prudence in my ignorance. Let the spirit of the awe of you overshadow my deeds. Renew a steadfast spirit in my breast and let your guiding spirit Make firm my, my errant mind, so that each day, led by your good spirit towards that which is profitable, I may be worthy to keep your commandments, ever mindful of your glorious and soul-searching presence. Do not allow me to be beguiled by the world's corrupting delights, but rather to, de to desire the enjoyment of future treasures. For you, Master, have said, that whatever we ask in your name, we shall without fail receive from your co-eternal God and Father. Thus, I too, the sinner, and the descent of your Holy Spirit, beseech your goodness. All that I have asked, grant me for salvation. Yes, Lord, you are the lavish giver of everything good, giving far in excess of what we ask. You are the compassionate and merciful one who, though sinless, became shared in our flesh and bending in love towards those who bent the knee to you, you became the propitiation for our sins. Now then, Lord, grant your people your mercies.
hear us in your heavenly dwelling place. Sanctify them by the power of your saving right hand. Shelter them in the shadow of your wings. Do not spurn the work of your hands. It is against you alone that we sing, but it is you alone we worship. We know no alien God to adore, not to stretch out our hands to any other deity or master. Remit our offenses, and as you receive our petitions on bending knee, extend to, to us all a helping hand. Accept our common prayer as a pleasing fragrance, rising up to your blessed kingdom. Lord, as you have as you have as you save us from every arrow that flies by day, protect us from ev from everything that lurks in darkness. Accept the lifting up of our hands as an evening sacrifice, and enable us to pass the course of the night blamelessly, untempted by evil, and rid us of all disturbance and fear induced by the evil one. Grant contrition to our soul and to our thoughts due concern for our trial on the day of your awesome and just judgment. Transfix our bodies with all of you and deaden our earthly members so that in the quiet of sleep we may be cheered by the contemplation of your judgments. Distance from us every improper imaging and harmful desire. Instead, raise us up at the hour of prayer, strengthened in faith and growing in your commandments. By the favor and grace of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy good and life giving spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of age. By the terrible and indescribable oblation, granted us everlasting life. You descended into Hades and broke down its gates, and sojourning among those below, you showed them the way of ascent. As for the prince of evil, that dragon of the deep, you snared him in an inspired lure, binding him in circles of darkness. In your infinite power, you made him fast in the nether world, in the eternal fire, and the outer darkness. The glorious wisdom of the Father, you are the great help of those in peril, giving light to those in darkness and the shadow of death. Lord of everlasting glory, beloved Son of the Most High, eternal light of eternal light, Son of righteousness, hear our supplications and give rest to the souls of your servants, our fathers and brothers, and other kind by blood, and all of the household of faith who have since fallen asleep and whose memorial we keep this day. For in you is the strength of all, and in your hand you hold the far reaches of the earth. Almighty Master, God of our fathers and Lord, merciful Lord, of the living and the dead, creator of all mortal nature, composed and again dissolved, of life and of death, of earthly existence and of the departure hence. You measure out the years of the living and set times of death, bringing down to Hades and raising up, fettering in weakness and liberating in power. You provide aptly for the present and fittingly dispose what is to come, restoring those who are wounded by the sting of death with the hope of resurrection. Master, Lord of all, our God and Redeemer, the hope of all, at the end of the earth and far away at sea, on this later great and saving day of Pentecost, you disclose to us the mystery of the holy, consubstantial, co eternal, and life giving Trinity, indivisible yet distinct, and in the descent and presence of your holy and life giving Spirit, poured out its grace upon your holy apostles in the form of fiery tongues, 
making them proclaimers and confessors of our holy faith, of true knowledge of God. On this universal and sanitary peace, deign to accept petitions for those imprisoned in Hades, thus giving us great hope and relief to the departed from their grievous distress and your comfort. Hear us, humble and pitiable, as we pray to you and give rest to the souls of your servants who have departed this life in a place of light, a place of renewed life, a joyous place, shunned alive by pain, sorrow, and sighing and place their spirits for the righteous world, counting them worthy of peace and repose, for the dead do not praise you, Lord, nor do those in Hades there to offer your glory, but it is, it is we, the living, who bless and entreat you and offer you propitiatory prayers and sacrifices for their souls. O God, great and eternal, holy and loving, having deemed us worthy to stand at this hour in the presence of your unapproachable glory, to sing in praise of your wondrous acts, by gracious to your, be gracious to your unworthy servants, and grant us grace to offer you in contrition of heart the twice holy doxology and thanksgiving for the great gifts you have bestowed on us and continue always. Lord, be mindful of our weakness, and do not let us be lost in our wrongdoing, but show mercy as we humble ourselves, so that, escaping the darkness of sin, we may walk in the day of justice, and girded with the armor of life, we may live free of the assaults of the evil one, and so with courage glorify you, the only true and loving God in all things. Truly great is your mystery, Master and Maker of all, of the temporary separation of your creatures to be united again in everlasting rest. We confess your grace in all things for our entrances into the world and our departures, of which our hope of resurrection and the life of bliss, according to a certain promise, are the guarantee. May we enjoy it in your future second coming. For you are both the pioneer of our resurrection and the just but compassionate judge of our lives and master and lord of our reward. In ultimate condescension, you shared in our flesh and blood and in our passions, willingly assuming them in, in the depths of your compassion so that having yourself been tempted, you offered yourself freely as helper to us who are tempted. Thus, united us all to you in your freedom from passion. Will you then, Master, accept our prayers and entreaties, and give rest to everyone's fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters, and children, or of the same family or people, and all the souls that have gone before to their rest in the hope of the resurrection to everlasting life, and place their spirits and their names in the book of life, the bosom of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, in the land of the living, in the kingdom of the heavens, in the bliss of paradise, your angels of light leading all into your holy mansions. And on the day you have ordained, raise up our bodies as well according to your unfailing promises. In departing our bodies to dwell in you, our God, there is no death for your servants, Lord, but rather a change from the more sorrowful to the better and more pleasing to rest, to joy. And if we have in any way sinned against you, be merciful to them and to us. For no man is free of staying in your sight, though he live but a day. Only you who came sinless to earth, O Lord Jesus Christ, though whom we all hope to find mercy and remission uh, of our sins. Thus, as good and loving God, Remit and forgive them and us our failings, whether, willing or, whether willingly or unwillingly, committed in knowledge or ignorance, intentionally or unaware, in deed or in thought, in word in, or in all goings above, both to those who have gone before us and, uh, and to those who await, give release and repose, granting us and all your people a good and peaceful end, opening up to us your heart of love and mercy at your terrible and awesome coming and judging us worthy of your kingdom. Great and most high God, you alone are immortal, abiding in unapproachable life. In wisdom you created the world, 
You separated the light from the darkness and set the sun, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light, the moon, and the stars to rule the night. You have judged us, those sinners, as this present hour to come in your presence, giving thanks and offering you our, ever, our evening praise. Loving Lord, let our prayer rise as incense before you and accept it as a fragrant offering. Make this evening and the coming night peaceful for us. Gird us with the armor of light. Deliver us from the terror of the night and from everything that lurks about in the darkness. Let our sleep, which you have given us for rest, given our weakness, be free of all demonic images. Yes, Master of all, source of all blessings, so that even as we slumber in our beds, we may speak your name in the night, and so, enlightened by the contemplation of your statues, we may rise, our souls rejoicing, to glorify your goodness, offering prayers and supplications to your compassion for our sins and for those of all your people, asking that at the intercession of the Holy Theotokos, you will show them mercy. For you are the King of peace and the Savior of our souls, and to you we offer our glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen.
for glory to God, for giving us the joy of reaching this day, the 50th day after the resurrection of the Lord, the Pentecost day, the descent of the Holy Spirit Sunday. So glory to God, the day is also the name day of our church. Tomorrow is dedicated to the Holy Trinity. So today we celebrate in our church the main day of, uh, of our church community and uh, we will have a cake for our for the main day of our church during Agape. Thank you very much team Ben for offering today's Agape and for preparing a cake for the main day of our church. Tomorrow we, can, we will start our vacation church school. So between 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. tomorrow and on Tuesday we have our, we will have our vacation church school. And then on Wednesday we'll have a little bit of a longer day because that will be on Wednesday afternoon. We'll take the children for swimming at a place uh, uh, in, in Ohio about 40 minutes away. But anyway, so that's why Wednesday is going to be a longer day. So vacation church school tomorrow, on Tuesday, and on Wednesday. Also, tomorrow at 9 a.m., you're invited to come to help with baking for Greek Fest. And then on Tuesday and Friday morning, our senior men will get together at 10 a.m. for the men's club. On Wednesday evening, we will have the building a last session of our active service. And the building, we are going to finish the Bible study about the Gospel of John. On Thursday morning, you are invited again to come at 9 a.m. to help baking for breakfast. And then next Sunday, we'll get together for Matthews and for Holy Liturgy for the Sunday of All Saints. The first Sunday after Pentecost is dedicated to All Saints. And here in North America, it is also Father's Day. So next Sunday, I think I'm going to speak about how fathers are called to become saints. Okay? So fathers, please come to church. I'll have a sermon for you next Sunday. And the Agape will be offered by Team 9 next Sunday. Our Green Fest will take place at Edwards Park from Thursday, June 23rd to Sunday, June 26th. Please sign up to volunteer on the homepage of the church website. I also want to let you know that there is construction going on downtown. We'll have parking for volunteers. We are going to have a police officer at the entrance into the volunteer parking lot with a list of the volunteers signed up for that shift. If you're not on the list of the police officer, he's not going to let you in to park in the volunteer parking lot. Please, I don't want to hear any complaints. Father, I came to volunteer, but the police officer didn't let me go in. That means that you didn't sign up beforehand. You cannot go, show up, and willing to volunteer without signing up beforehand. I'm sorry, we have to be very well organized. Please sign up if you want to volunteer, and we need volunteers, but please sign up, please go to the website, the homepage of the, of the church's website, and sign up. And, you or parish council members, would you be okay if someone, because you know this is an, an online thing that, that you have to do. Maybe some people are not very familiar with Sign Up Genius. We have tablets, we could have Jackie or Drew or a parish council member every Sunday from now on, signing up the people who don't know how to sign themselves up online. But once again, you cannot volunteer without signing up, sign, sign up before the day you are going to volunteer. And the sooner the better because we know how to organize and if we don't have enough volunteers from the church, we will try to get volunteers from other organizations. So please sign up before next Sunday if you want to volunteer. And then uh, God willing, on Wednesday, July 13th, we will have the fifth Transformative Christianity uh, Metropolis-wide webinar. This one will be about sadness. 
and depression. So uh, something that our society, our world is struggling with a lot. We will talk about this in the webinar that God willing we are going to have on Wednesday, July 13th. Christ is among us. He is among us. Wishing you a very blessed name day of our church, a very blessed Kronia Ola for the name day of our church. I invite you to come now for the veneration of the cross and to come for our Agavi. But I'm going to invite Triada to come first for the veneration of the cross today. You know, we have a family that moved from uh, Carbon Springs, Florida to Fort Wayne not too long ago and they became members of our church. <coughs> Their daughter is named Triada. So Triada is going to come first for the finish of the, of the cross today because it's also your birthday. So, do you want to sing for Triada? Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs>